baseball fans what's going on yes you baseball fans what is going on if you love baseball now let's see baseball in uh, North America so that's Canada United States and Mexico baseball is huge uh, Japan Korea uh, South Korea baseball is huge uh, where we're we going to Car the Caribbean and uh, the northern parts of um, South America and I guess some bits of Central America, like Guatemala, are all huge baseball uh, countries. And uh, I don't think baseball is any bigger than here in the U.S. And that's why I have my, uh, my trusted baseball glove. <laughs> Actually, this was uh, given to me by a friend of mine because he wanted me to play on his uh, softball team. Um, so he bought me a glove. I had no no uh, choice in the leather or any anything else it was just like here you're this is your glove for for the game gains um but uh i didn't like it <laughs> i don't really care for baseball but um but um i appreciate it and um it's always a good time when you go out i i really like going to like the minor league games uh, those are fun uh there's one in um Brooklyn it's called the Cyclones and then there's in, on Staten Island there's the Staten Island Yankees so um, those are always fun to go to it's cool because you could just take the train uh, well you can take a train to the Yankees and the Mets as well but take the train down and enjoy a afternoon um, baseball game it's always fun um, now uh, why am I dressed this way <laughs> I'm dressed this way because I have a callback for an audition that I did so uh, uh, that's why I'm dressed like in this in this way, um, and I have my phone on because I have the, to let me know when they're ready for me to jump on the Zoom to do my audition. So if you hear some chimes, some ching, bop, 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 uh, that's because I'm waiting for my call, and I am wearing today the Elk Bottom uh, Reels Ropers. I'm trying to break those in. Um, well, they're already broken. In. What am I talking about? Um, what else we got for you? Let's take a look at what's in here. Well, all right. <laughs> the reason this and this is why I have this and why that says the big league is because in here, oh, we got a card. It says, enjoy your new big league boots. Thank you very much. So. Uh, one morning I was just kind of like minding my business and uh, I get a text and it's a photo of these and um, and I was like, yeah, please. So these are actually made of baseball glove leather. Yes. How cool is that? I know. So all you baseball fans out there, you may want to pick this up because... Uh, It'd be cool like to actually have baseball glove leather on your feet instead of walking around with this all day. <laughs> you have this on your feet. Yeah, it's really cool. So when I heard about this, um, I was kind of uh, intrigued because I've I never you don't I don't you kind of don't think about like okay this leather. Um, well, I don't know. Yeah, I can't really say like I've like, you know, you think about this as only for, yeah, it's a good point because it's leather's leather. Well, for the most part it is, but it's just a just cool idea. It's simple and like, um, why didn't I think of that before? Um, and it smells just like a baseball glove would when a brand new baseball glove when you would get it, um, which is really cool. Um, and so, like, let me just take this out. When you feel the, the shaft, oh my God, it's just way, way, way soft. Man. And the smell is ridiculous! So cool. So yeah, if you're a, if you're a, a baseball fan, 
I don't see why you wouldn't pick this up. It's cool. I'm a boot fan. That's why I picked it. <laughs> so it works for me that way. Um, I'm not a baseball fan, but uh, it's really cool. I was thinking um, it would be kind of interesting if they did the stitching like um, red and white, like a baseball. I don't know if, you know, on this brown and they did that, that would be kind of cool. And then maybe here, although it could kind of get a little Christmassy if they did the side welt in like green for the grass or even white, because you know, like on the baseball field, the white lines of like the foul line, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't know if it would have been too flashy, um, but I think that'd be a neat idea. But I don't know. Let's take a closer look at the Rios of Mercedes Big League. That's a great name too, right? Big League. Okay, so here's a closer look at the Rios of Mercedes Big League. So this has a 10 inch um, upper and the vamp, the vamp and the uh, shaft is made of baseball glove leather. This has um, an R toe on here, which you know I love, and it has a block heel. Now, um, all the uh, Rio Mercedes boots are handmade in Texas. Look at the uh, sole there with that rubber inlay on there with the lemon one pegging and then the rubber on the heel of this bad boy. So <laughs> this, <laughs> so it's extremely soft and I know that it's gonna get, it's gonna scuff like crazy. Um, look at that. Leather lined, of course. Oh wow, it's crazy soft. Uh, let's take a look at this, uh, where is it here? Oops, it's probably easier to do this way. Grab onto the arch part. Um, I look at the insert. You have a uh, insert with a leather on top and then you have that orange. So this is like, uh, I, I heard that the newer uh, Rios will all have this insert. So uh, before it was just like the black one. It's just a simple black insert, but I think um, all the new ones will have this kind of leather t on top of this um, orange foam, um, which makes them very comfortable. I like that they have that little bit right there for your heel impact. You can see that. That's nice. And putting my hand in here, guys, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it's crazy soft. Man. Cannot wait to actually try these on and walk around in these. It's gonna be ridiculous, man. Um, so you have a a, a um, I guess like a, what is that? Lighter lighter brown uh, side welt here and some stitching on the shaft. Um, as I was saying before, it'd be cool if they did something in like another color here and then did this a color. That would be cool. Now. Um, I was told that these were supposed to have a lug um, sole um, and I was um, asked if I would wait um, for the lug sole version or if I just wanted this and I said I would go with this version. I think I prefer this sole because of the stitching on the shaft. If the shaft were plain, then I would hold out for the lug sole. Um, so, um, I think it works with this sole and the stitching. I think everything about this 100% works fine. And, um, I can, like I said, I'm looking really, really looking forward to putting these on and going for a really long walk and getting that nice break in because just to see how this is going to, uh, get a nice patina and wrinkle and crinkle. Ooh, yo, 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 it's so exciting. Um, What's the other thing that I wanted to mention about these besides the block heel, which is, so uh, if you notice um, the Rangers that I've actually is, these have a block heel. I'm trying to think of the ones that I'm wearing now have a block heel. Let's see. It's a bit higher. It looks like let's take these off. Yeah, this is a bit. Yeah, look. Okay. So you see this heel here and then look at this heel on this one. 
you see the difference. So um, my reels, they actually like split. Um, the, the horse, the two I have in the horse hide have this heel. And then um, a few, let's see, I think the, which one has this one? Oh yes, the work uh, roper that I have um, with the rough out on the vamp um, has this heel, this block heel. So um, you see the difference here. I kind of like this one a lot. This one, this one's, you know, like walking, comfort, working, I, I, um, which is why that work one has that block heel. It's a bit shorter and easier like on your feet when you're walking. Um, this one is cool. I, I like this style um, a bit more, um, but um, happy either way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I noticed that um, a few a few days ago when I was um, looking at my ropers, I noticed that the heel, uh, the heel difference. Um, and I, I meant to, uh, to mention it to you guys, but um, there is a slight, I don't know, can you, I put on the, the work ones the other day um, to walk the, the pups. And I was just like, I love those, man. They're so nice. And I know these are going to be just as nice because this leather is so soft and this little bit of a shorter heel, I'm going to be able to put these on and just go and just walk. Um, so these will be, um, along the lines of like that elephant, uh, where it's very soft and it's going to, they'll be like socks, I imagine. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but, um, yeah, I, like I was saying before, it's like, you don't really think about like a glove, a baseball glove and then a boot, but it's just simple. It's not something that you, you don't think about it. And then when you think about it, you're like, yeah, duh, why not? Um, so yes, thank you very much. Um, I hope that if you, if you, uh, get a chance to see these or if you get a chance to pick these up, uh, you definitely, um, will not be disappointed <laughs> whatsoever. And the color is really cool too, you know, cause there are, you can find baseball gloves in this color as well as, um, what this is kind of like on the. If you follow on the on the Red Wing side, this is kind of looks like a briar leather here. So um, you see the in between here, you know. So um, I know, and then you know, there's also black uh, baseball gloves that I've seen in the past. So it's really cool. Very happy that they uh, reached out. But um, there you go, the uh, Rios of Mercedes Big League. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Checking it out. You just wake up. Yeah. All right, let's do the on feet. All one, all two, all three. Hey, we are two. of Mercedes Big League made with actual baseball glove leather. Thank you so much for watching and remember be a boot. See you guys next time. Okay I just want to do a quick follow-up on the elephant um, hide boots that I had. I reached out to Rios and asked them um, does the elephant have to die of natural causes um, because someone had commented um, in, in that video below um, that the elephant needs to die of natural causes. So that is not true, actually. Um, they responded to me and they said, uh, the answer to your question is no, the elephant does not die of natural causes. Local governments call the herds uh, to control the population. The animals that are harvested during these calls are used to provide uh, for the locals in many ways. The meat will be eaten, hides are sold, 
uh, with the money being put back into the economy, etc. All hides used to make Rios of Mercedes boots are regulated by CITES organization. Um, we follow, we must follow strict guidelines when using the hides of animals that CITES regulates. Um, we do not use any hides from poached animals. And then he said, if you have any further questions, let me know. So you say, you may ask, what is CITES, okay? So CITES stands for uh, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. Um, so uh, Rios uh, does everything on the up and up. It's, <laughs> it's still uh, unfortunate um, that, that elephants have to pass to create the, the boots, but such is, I mean, even if you're thinking about um, calf, calf skin, if you were to see a calf and you're like, oh yeah, um, we're going to um, kill it and make boots, you'd be like a little hard pressed if you had it right there in your face. Um, but you don't think about those things like, especially like eating steak, eating bur burgers, you're not thinking about the cow or the, the steer or the, uh, the boots. Um, although, Killing the animal just for the skin is a bit rough, um, but if you know the meat's going elsewhere to feed, then you're kind of like okay, you know, like with hunting, you're eating the meat and, and you're putting the the trophy, mounting the trophy of you know whatever animal you hunted down. So there's a little, you know, I I can see I can I can kind of wrap my head around it, but just wanted to follow up on the. Uh, Elephant uh, Rios. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys later.